This is Jax. Here we go. Hopefully everything's working. I just got the setup done. Let me bring the mic over. Uh, nightly bounty. I just got my ninth bounty. $20 entry. Let's see what the prize pool ended up being. About $2,700. There it is, final table. I have the chip lead by a good amount. Oh, no, I don't. The other guy just took out... Oh, he just crippled the other guy. So me and this guy have been going back and forth as chip leader uh, for about the last hour. Or, nah, 25 minutes. But, oh, we'll get the... Uh, dink. Yeah, there it is. You can only see the top seven spots. But, and over here is my bounties, that nine, so... Made 45 in bounties so far, and ninth place pays 33, then 48, and then you can see the rest of the payouts. Well, we already got an all-in. Got it all out. Very cool. All right, we're down to eight. And so, let me ladder up. I wish I, that WSOP would show you how many bounties everybody has. So I probably have the most. Which is always fun to know. Top prize 466 plus your bounties. So for me it would be over 500 now. Plus you get your own bounty if you win and the second place guys. So hopefully this will I don't know if this is going to work at all or if you guys are going to be able to hear me, but we'll know soon enough and might as well set off the alert for, where is it, this is uh, swim, saber, stupid, there it is. Oh, it's working. Oh, wow. Deuces full versus a straight flush. Oh, my God. And he rivered it. Well, we're down to seven. That's crazy. This guy made deuces full of eights, and the other guy makes a straight flush. This, this fucking cunt trash queen almost knocked me out earlier. She's the worst fucking player here. I just pulled off a huge bluff against her. Just kind of plays everything, and you saw the gamble. So, we're down to seven. I can't imagine this is going to go that fast. How long till we're live here? 18 seconds. It's it's all been recorded. Hayden's yeah. here. It's all been, uh, you know, whatever, but I'm on a time delay. I love how, like, you're like, oh, I'm going to record it, and everybody's like, well, we're all going to kill each other. <laughs> That's what it's all about. This is the, the new place I'm in. Hey, 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 I gotta walk. Am I that scary? Maybe their camera's shining. Maybe. Right. That guy's raising so big. I'm out of position, I can't do it. Okay, why is it not streaming? Do I have to refresh this? Oh, there it goes. Stream is live. Okay, firmly in the chip lead. Yeah, setup's not quite great. Like, it's a little dark, but <laughs> I need to buy lamps. That sounds good.
Hey, boss. Thanks, my man. Appreciate you. Hello there. Thank you, Chuck. Much appreciated. To the whisper person, yeah, I am in the new place. This is the most aggressive player at the table, and he's limping on my blind. Be a good time to flop trips. I would not go for a squeeze, although this guy's kind of move happy. Huh. Because this is just super sus. Like, he's he's raised, like, 3x every step of the way. Like, he's never backed off. Like, this is... Like, it's probably nothing, but it's probably something that's better... That he should have raised with. Like, it's probably, like... Ace-queen suited. It could be a king, but I don't think so. It could even be something like queens or aces, honestly. It's, there's no point in making a move. I mean, I just kind of want to think about it for a second. Speaking of aces, on the final table in the small blind, let's go. Let's set it off. Versus a shorter stack. Uh, I guess we just jam on him, right? Because raising doesn't do anything. I mean, he's the bottom stack. He's got 23 blinds, but he won't in like a minute. He'll only have like 20 blinds. Surprised he folded, but that's fine. I don't think anything I do there, unless I call, I don't think anything I do there gets more action. Like, I think if I raise to like 10 or 12,000, oh, he's raise happy. Okay, so it would have worked. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, maybe it should have. Well, no, I like jamming. Yeah, because I want to see what happens here. Now, if he jams over the top here, I'm going to feel like an idiot for the way I played the last hand. But he shouldn't, although this is definitely a squeeze. I think if you have ace-jack, if you're B-happy here, you have to jam. But he's not going to. He doesn't know that. He'll jam like pocket eights, but he won't jam him like ace-jack, which he absolutely should. Yeah, no, I don't think I was going to get any more action out of him. This guy is kind of like he feels the heat when I pull ahead of him as chip leader. All right. We're going to play for a little more because I have a lot of chips. There's only like 750,000 chips in this one, so. Uh, yeah, 735,000. So me and this guy are almost exactly tied. So I'm not going to go to the well too much, but I'm not going to min open either. That's too much. Like, this, this guy's hilarious. I mean, you should only be calling with hands that you're willing to get in on this flop. Like, tens plus, nines plus. Honestly, there's no hand I see him jamming here that loses. Unless this guy has aces. Or kings. There's no hand I can see it. But, like, he does that and now he's... Now watch, he'll, he'll lose his fucking mind. Because he's 10,000 chips behind me, which is a stupid small amount. Yeah, there's 735,000 chips. Yeah, this week has been pretty crazy. It's only been a week since I uh, moved out of the other place, or when I took possession of the keys here. I guess, I guess we moved on Saturday, or I moved on Saturday. Right? Was that Saturday we got the truck? Mm, no, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. Yeah, we packed Saturday. Yeah, Remember? that's right. I'm just going to act like I have a king here. He can have a lot of kings, but he should raise right now if he does. But we'll just take it down with aggro. Nice. Almost 200k. Yeah, I was I was going to like drive through the weekend and play poker, but it was just like, fuck it, let's, let's get in here. So Hayden helped me pack up and move everything and uh but uh just now i'm starting to like put shit away and make the place look like a place 
These two again. Yeah, he's going to go absolutely, yeah. So he just, he's, he's really feeling the heat. Anytime I keep pulling away, he has to catch up. Like, if he's not the chip leader, he's not happy. So this guy has 24 blinds. If this guy didn't do that, I think I would have raised and called off a jam. That's a damn good flop. We, we might play this like the nuts. I kind of want to see this guy. Yep, that's what I want to see. We might play a really big pot here. He's all in. I don't see how we fold. Jack or Hart. That'll do. Double knockout and a monstrous chip lead. Bang. That's fucking... I have 321,000 now. Jesus. That's fucking banana crackers. And we're down to five players. You were, what, 187 like 10 minutes ago? Yeah. This is kind of... Yeah, he's not gonna... He's not gonna fuck around. I just pulled so far ahead. I have almost half the chips in the tournament. Guy in the big blind is super short. These guys are expecting me to keep my foot on the gas, so this guy should just get out of the way. Unless he has something really good. I mean, if this guy jams, I should be rejamming. Although I don't see it happening. Um, he can definitely have a lot of aces. I don't think I ever back off, though. Yeah. You're going to get run over, bro. If you keep calling these raises, I'm just going to run you down with nothing. Like, everybody's so far behind me now. It's insane. This guy should just be shutting down. Yeah. Got a gut shot. All right, I'll take a free card. Five's a little less good now. Yeah, it's fine, bro. You got it. You really, you, you definitely got it. I don't even know if the five is even good for me. That's the problem. This guy is the best seat. He's the second most chips, and, uh, you know, I'm to his right. King's all right. There's a lot of aces that re-raise that don't defend, or that don't uh, re-raise, that defend. I'm just going to check down and go for mild value. Four spades, though, I'm just going to check it. Yeah, he's got a pair. That's fine. We win that one, too. I mean, there's no, at no point was he ever going to do anything funky because these three stacks are way too close together. Oh, walkie walkie. That's fine. I'll let these guys limp. Trash Queen, it really is trash. Like, like, look at this. This limp should only be followed by a jam. Especially versus this player. Yeah. Just, just amazing. Yeah, I'm playing like 60% of hands, but I'm not going to play the absolute trash. playing pots with me. It's absolutely hilarious. I'm just going to keep betting. He's just he's just giving the tournament away. Like he's getting further and further away because he just he just can't help himself. He's like compulsive. Queen 10, good for you. He really should have done that. I wouldn't have expected this player to be able to do that. Even though he went out, that's absolutely the right play. I really wouldn't have expected him to do that. He's limping. Okay. That's a 
pretty awesome. Hey. Hey, Rudy. Haven't seen you in a while. You're banned from the channel, man. Go fuck yourself. Piece of shit. That's interesting. Down to four players. What did he have when I had the ace three? Oh, he had king ten. Look at that. That's pretty rad. Where is it? Where is it? Docs. Chat. There it goes. Good to see you, Chuck. Good to see everybody. Huge spot. Yeah, it was. Let that be a lesson. This is not a democracy. It's a Josh Topia. <laughs> if you're a dick, you get banned. And while he was one of my oldest followers, he did some really dickish shit uh, last summer. So fuck him. That's tempting. If I had Queen nine suited I think I would call but I'm gonna let it go he's smart though he's not uh, he's not resting yeah I was waiting on that she's been limping a lot oh we're on break all right I'm gonna mute the mic I'll be right back I gotta take a leak Yeah. 
Oh, I'll tell you the story, Chuck. And it's funny because I think he still has my number. I don't think I've blocked him yet. So this past summer, I'm, I was just telling Hayden, this past summer, Rudy contacts me, right? And he starts playing Captain Big Balls. And he's like, I want to put you in this. I want to put you in that, man. I'm so glad to see you streaming again. You know, and I was, you know, doing pretty well. And uh, he put me in one event. He came out to my house and gave me the cash. He was talking about putting me in the main event for 10000 He was talking about the 888 online, the 888 buy-in. Like, he was talking about all these big fucking things, right? And I told him, honestly, I was like, dude. And he was talking about putting down, like, 20K in live entries. And I told him, I was like, dude, give me 5000 and let me just play shit online. Or better yet, give me 3000 and let me play shit online. And I guarantee you it will go well. And if I do well in one of them, fuck it, we'll go take it to the thing. And he was talking about the team event. He gave me the name of some people that he was backing in the team event. I know these players. They're shit players. I fucking smack them every day. And I know what happened. He got to them. They started talking shit on me. And I just told him, I'm like, I don't have the stamina to play live for 10 to 12 hours when I haven't played live in a year. I play online. That's what I do. And I can play 20 hours online, but there's no fucking way I can, you know, do it live. You have to, like, bring food and you have to do all this kind of stuff. It takes a lot of stuff. And I'd have to build up, you know. So he put me in one tournament. I cashed it. I went fairly deep. It was a $320 entry. I ended up winning, like, 900 And... He was like, just keep it. He wouldn't even take the money back. He was just totally big timing, right? Uh, and then when it came time to enter these $200 events and $500 events, like he just wasn't interested. Like it wasn't enough for him. He didn't want anything but the live play. And then he just fucking ghosted me. Like there was the 500 online bracelet event. There was the 888. There was the Lucky Sevens. He talked about putting me in all those for multiple bullets and he was like, if you make the money back, cool. He's like, I don't even want it, though. He's like, you get 99%. He's like, I just want to see you win something. And he just totally gaslit me. And then he just stopped responding. And I the last, I remember the last message, it was like, uh, dude, this is the last time I'll text you. I, I figure if you don't respond to this, then you just want nothing to do with me. So fuck it, right? And I haven't seen him since, right? And I've streamed, you know, a lot since then, since the summer. And then... Uh, uh, yeah, so he comes up to show up now when I'm at another final table, and it's like, oh, hi, buddy, fuck you, and I ban him. So it's like, and he was one of my first followers, like my very first followers, but you don't get to be a fucking asshole and, you know, treat me a certain way, and I don't give a shit. I don't have a following anymore. I don't get viewers anymore. So, <laughs> you know, who cares? Ooh, hello. All right, let's get back into this. But yeah, so that's why he got banned. Because at that time, not getting put in those events was so devastating when I thought I was going to. It, like, gave me too much hope and then snatched it away. So, I was just super upset. Hey, I have half the chips in the tournament. Get out of the way if Trash Queen wants to get in here. I don't want. I don't want to stop this action. So we're doing pretty good. We got 172 locked up plus 55 in bounties. Pretty good. This guy bluffing. Yeah, I would have totally gotten paid here. I can't believe this guy called him. He's such a bluff monster. Look at that 10 versus Queen Jack. I almost played the King Six.
Yeah, I hadn't played. I haven't played live in like, it, like I played live like for a few tournaments last year. I, I did well, but just like local bullshit tournaments. But I think the longest session I put in live was like seven hours. Couldn't go to the World Series with that. Just be throwing money away. Gonna jam. No? Right. Come on. Ooh, that's not bad. I'm gonna bet. It's kind of rough. He can sometimes have a club. He can also have some better sevens or straights, but I don't think I can fold. Yeah, he can have the clubs. That's fine. I don't mind losing one to him. Hi, Jax. Is this real money or not? <laughs> yes, this is this is tournaments. So uh, you can see it. Oh, thanks for the follow, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, it is. There is a delay. Yeah, that's a real piece of shit. Sorry that happened to you, bro. Uh, you took it well, though, honestly. Yeah, I, I kind of did at the time. I, I really was... I'm going to be perfectly honest. I really was kind of crushed. Because he was also a really good guy. And I considered him a friend. But uh, And it, it really took a lot of wind out of my sails. I actually had to take a few days off playing when I realized it was just not going to happen. But, uh, yeah. So this is attorney. So you'll see the, the payouts in the bottom right corner. This, I kind of want to call this just to see what's up. I know this is stupid. They can even have King Queen that beats me, but I think I have to call Queen Jack. Yeah, that's fine. I like their check on the turn. I like the bet on the river. I like that I'm making calls that are light like that, but that King High is going to win a lot versus like uh, Queen whatever or some flush draw that missed. And it's going to go slow for a minute until this player goes out, but that's fine. Yeah, you can see the payouts in the bottom right corner, man. But good to see you, Jax. Welcome. I do stream. Uh, for the past, like, seven or eight months, I've only been streaming Final Tables, uh, which come around pretty often. But uh, I'm going to be streaming. Uh, damn, I always wondered what happened. I remember you talking about getting into some big stuff. That sucks. Yeah, man, it was totally true. Uh, it really sucked. Oh, look at this. Running full house. to king <laughs> Makes the flush running full house cards. That's hilarious. With King Six. Got in there with King Six. That's hilarious. Yeah, man, that's what happened with that. Yeah, I think I actually took a break from streaming, like, at that time. That's when I, I think that's when I went to just streaming Final Tables, because I was so upset. And then a whole bunch of other shit happened, you know, I've, you know, uh, in the process of a divorce, and I've just moved. This is, I'm in my new place now. So, a lot of shit's going on, so it's kind of hard to stream a lot when you have to, like, you know, straighten your whole life out. So what happens if you jam? This guy limping is hilarious. I was kind of thinking this might happen. That's really tempting to call, but Hoey is so... I, I think I'm even ahead of his range, but he's so likely to call with, like, King Jack suited that I, I think I just have to give it up. But yeah, him limping and this guy jamming, I kind of like that it goes down that way. So that's fine. Um, I don't mind any of this. And we're going to check back. He can have anything, literally. Two pair. I'm going to go bigger to make it look like a bluff. If he has a better two pair, it's too bad. But he's always going to pay off the big bet. Thank you. What would you have? He had 10-6. So he had me. Then I rivered him. But he honestly should have bet the turn after I checked. Oh, that's a good, yeah, that's a good play. Yeah, but I am going to be streaming more. Uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, uh, stream some more cash games and stuff like that. But yeah. So let's see here. 
We also have all the, the chat commands, if you didn't know. Let's see. What's a good one? There we go. This here's here's for that Rudy story. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Four X open. You win. Mmm. That's 20 blinds. I mean, if he jams. Wow. I think I have to call him. Yeah. King or queen, please. Hold. Oh. God. That would have been awesome. I felt like it was coming, though. That would have been awesome. But it's all right. I'll get him. Little, little, little setback there. Uh, gonna go ahead and raise. Uh, I have to call her. Hold. Oh, come on, Ace. Ace, 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 Ace. Damn it! I double both the short stacks. She's always pushing junk, so that's not a bad jam, but it's not great. I mean, she kind of thought I was tilted, but I absolutely make the right call. Well, we're second in chips now, and both the short stacks have doubled up, so. Choo Choo attacking you? Yeah. He woke up from his nap and chose violence. Chose violence. That's crazy. This guy was shoving everything. Random ace three isn't bad to shove either, but for 20 blinds? You can kind of open for 20 blinds. You don't have to jam. Alright, well, I have to call. He's opening 4x now, which is kind of weird. I'm, I'm kind of looking for reasons to float, but I don't think I have one. All right, I'll let it go. That's fine. He's gonna he's gonna keep whacking on me, but once I hit one hand, he's gonna give me all of it. If these guys fold, I kind of want to limp to see if he'll raise automatically when I limp again. So, this is kind of a tester. No, he didn't do it. Check. I bet everything else. So checking is kind of whatever. I do think we call. Check. Uh, he has a few eights here. He also has some flush draws. He also has some hands like jack nine. I think I have to call. Eight three. Yeah, he hit the eight. That's fine. I definitely could have bet him off the flop. No, no not definitely because he likes to float. So I don't think there's anything else to do there. It's all right. Somebody else get involved in a hand. I mean, we're four-handed. We're going to be playing a lot of hands. So, what are you going to do? Need more cash games? Yeah, I've been doing well in the cash, man. I'm playing... Wow, he is opening huge. He's doing this only on my blind. He doesn't want to... He's in position. I don't understand why he's even doing that. It's kind of weird. Let's see if we can still limp. I'm not going to bother. I just want to see if he takes a poke at it. Yeah. Full pot bet. <laughs> He's got at least a jack. Queen jack. Is Amazon going to do something? Yeah. Wow. Standardized 4x now because of Hoey. Wow.
Still a lot of distance between second and third here, so I'm not I'm not worried. Especially because this guy is just going to give it away. I mean, he's going to be hyper-aggressive, but he's going to give it... Wow, why is he limping now? He's trying to get me to make a move. Yeah. He's not taking shots at me anymore. He's got, like, ace high here, right? King six. Why wow, is limping king six? There's no point in limping king six. Unless he's trying to, like... No, he doesn't think that far ahead. That's fine. He's going to bet any pair. Or flush draw. But that's kind of weird that he limped king six, huh? King six off. Kind of really weird. I'm just going to stick with my standard 2.5. Yeah, it's still too much. Like, the 4x is insane. All you're doing is killing your own action. It's not good. I think once trash falls below 100k, we're going to see some, some fireworks over here. Like, that's one of those numbers that people just kind of flip out about. Like, when they really shouldn't. I mean, the blinds are 3,500. They'll be 4,000 in a minute. So they've still got, like, 25 blinds. They've got, like, 30 right now. <clears throat> no, they got, like, 28. I don't know what he's doing. Limping? I trust that bet. Yeah, I've been doing pretty well in the cash games. I was uh, playing smaller for a while. I had to like withdraw a bunch of money to support the move and all like that, so I'm kind of knocked down. So I'm playing a lot of uh, 20 and L. But that's going pretty well. I'm kind of rebuilding. Open ender. That's a full pot bet. It's risky, but I do think I have to call it. This is a problem because he can have 8-9. He can also have two pairs. He can have some 8-6. I don't think many. I don't... Hmm. Is this ever a bluff? I mean, it's an over pair, right? So... The problem is over here, because he can definitely have 8-6. He can also have 8-9. Um, so I've got 3, 8, 11, 12, 13. 13 past 26. I can't. I can't. It's fine. He overplayed an overpair. I mean, in all honesty, if the turn was an 8, we get it all. That's fucking crazy. It's evening out a little bit, but this is insane. Actually, from the small blind, that's not bad. That's three and a half. I think he's just opening pot everywhere now. Maybe I should have check raise the flop. Ooh. That's interesting. And he calls? Well, he always calls. That is a board that hits Hoey square in the face. But he didn't bet, so I don't think he's got anything going unless he's like ultimately trapping he should be betting here though half pot I mean he should be trapping so he should have two pairs he can have a lot of jack eight he can also have hands like nine ten that can do that he can also have king jack he's limping everything so he can have top pair very easily but it's just kind of weird all right I got a five what's Amazon gonna do I'm going to go ahead and bet. I'm going to bet half pot right at it. If Hoey has a jack, he'll call. Uh, I don't think he does anything crazy unless he beats top pair. I mean, he could have a draw and raise. This is kind of super scary, though. Wow. This is a draw. This guy's lost his mind. I think he's got to go to dinner. It's 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 a draw. I'm 100% I'm ahead. But... I can't call. Like, I totally can't call. He can have, like, just ace-deuce or ace-three of clubs, and I can't call. It's fine. He's getting aggro. I normally raise this, but this player is so unpredictable. God, just the worst flop. Not one club. That's fine. Getting squeezed a little bit, but... 
You have to tighten up some. He said as he gets an ace. All right, well, thank God, a normal raise. So what did you have to have, like 30 blinds to finally make a normal raise, not like an insano raise? How do you not have any of this? How do you not have any of this? How are you playing every hand and having nothing that you can call a half pot bet on? Finally crawled back up to another 15L shot this month, barely staying afloat, but not lighting it on fire like before. Nice, man. That's what it's all about. Did you ever get involved in a uh, training site? I'm on Doug's. I like his stuff. You could just spend your entire life on his modules. I also was on uh, Poker Coaching, you know, Jonathan Little's site. Look at this. Uh, I was on that one for a while. Uh, but... Uh, uh, I'm on Doug's site right now just because I like the way he does a lot of his content. That's annoying. Ugh. Like, that's 20 blinds. Why are you... They're freaking the fuck out is what it is. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to be able to trap him much. I think I trap him better if I overbet the flop, honestly. But the 10 kicker's not. If it was like Queen Jack, yeah, but the 10 kicker's like so on the edge. Although it does have removal. Maybe I could have just bet it big. But then again, I'm out of position. If I bet it big, I have to bet the turn, and then we're probably jamming the river. So it's going to be kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is when trash is most dangerous it's just under 100k bet small I mean how do you not bet like 4,000 there bet like 3,800 you'll win this pot like I mean, it's half pot it's fine but like I don't think they had anything good but like, they could have done that on the flop. All right. Jam. Like, call. Fold. I'm jamming. If they're trapping, it's too bad. Hold, ace, jack. Hold, ace, jack. Bang. Gotcha, bitch. Knew I would. Twelfth bounty. And we got a nice little stack going. Top three left. Locked up 240. All right. This is a massive underplay with King Queen. But I'm not 100% sure what Amazon is doing here. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I mm. They're kind of, yeah, and see, this is, I didn't want to get in the way of this. That sucks that the queen came on the turn. <sighs> yeah, well, now the seven lives over here. 20,000. Oh, you should have bet more than that. Ooh, unless this is eight. Or seven ace. Seven six. How do you just min click? I mean, this should be, yeah. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, he had a seven. He might have had like pocket fours or something like that, which is kind of weird. I don't care what he does on this. Yeah, it's. I know it seems like way weak, but I don't have anything going on here. Plus, like, he can absolutely have an ace. Are you going to keep limping the button? No. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Uh, go bet. Yeah, I am going to float. I'm going to check. I could do this, right? Ooh, 
one big old bluff. Woo! <laughs> oh, I got one for you, buddy. I got one for you. This is for you. <laughs> that was really good. I like that one. The float bluff. I'm kind of getting his rhythm down. Yeah, this is annoying. I do. I am going to float it again. He may just go check, check. He has a lot of nines here. He has some aces. Does he ever have like king 10 that I'm losing to? I think we have to call though. Yeah, I'm going to check. I, I don't see him. Yeah, he's got a king. Yeah, that's the problem is that there's not enough bluffs I can beat. That's the problem. He can just have a king. Oh, that sucks. And I can't lead the river because he's never going to fold a five. All right, we'll let this one go. He can definitely have something. I do think we make it look like a bluff. Ha! Same hand. I code for a bit. Open my eyes to the point that I know how much I really don't know. My study is more guided. I have been in base strategy and it has been very effective. It really is all about um, fundamentals, man, so... God damn it, so many fucking ace flops. That's fine. He's bluffing, but that's fine. It's just out of position. Like, I can't do it because this guy's going to be in there. Kind of glad I got out of the way here because I don't know what this is, but it should be a king. I couldn't fold here. Had the auto fold on. Interesting. Fuck me, I thought he was going to jam. Soft play the ace. I mean, my hand wins at showdown a lot. Jack seven with no bluff attempt with the open ender. Look at that. Gut shot open end. That's bad. Like Jack seven. I just, I don't want to play out of position. I just don't know enough about this guy. His tendencies are so wild. I just don't know enough to be playing out of position when he opens, so. I like that open. I mean, do you ever bet an ace here? 
I mean, unless you're suited in clubs, you don't. Because then you kind of don't care what the action is. But I think if you have a good ace, like ace jack, ace 10, even ace 9, you would just check here and go for the trap. I mean, if you're bluffing, you would scale up. If you have an ace like ace 10, you would check. You could still bet this river for like 30k. I've had king deuce so many times in this tournament. Got the king. I'm just going to check. Like I said, this player's full range is a limp, so he can definitely have a king. But I think this is one where we catch Amazon bluffing. He can definitely have some draws. He can definitely have some jacks. God, it has to be a jack. I'm going to check. This sucks if he bets. I don't think I can fold, though, because there are all the flush draws. Uh, I do think we have to call. Yep. Flushes and straight draws. All right. It's a totally different game now. Snap called him. Love that. Fucking snippity snap. Can't get a hand on the button. Like, and by hand on the button, I, I only want to be raising on the button. It's kind of weird. Somebody should have a five. I don't know if you, yeah. Wow. The fuck? Jack seven again. Is that your lucky hand, sir? If it is, you might want to change it. He's getting pissed. Oh, he walked it. Look at that. I really thought, uh, I really thought he was going to do something goofy. He might have just had trash, but. I'm going to. Play a little bit tighter. Not not much, just a little. Okay, there's a hand I can raise. It's not a powerhouse, but it's something, and I'm not taking advantage of the button too much, so. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I got his hand. Fundamentals are everything. I drill pre flop ranges uh, before every session. That's good, man. Don't forget to drill them for different size tables. So like nine-handed versus six-handed versus five-handed. Not that it matters. Like if you're if you're drilling six-handed, you're fine. Wow, that's weird. That's twenty-five blinds. It just jams straight. That's crazy. People get impatient. This tournament is long. Like these are ten-minute levels. Like, this tournament's been going since 3 o'clock. Well, I guess it's not... No, it's only been four hours, but... All right. Let's underplay the ace again. Glad I'm not making moves on these aces, man. I feel like he's more likely to have something when he's betting small than when he's betting half pot. Plus, there's just no reason for me to play on there. Nice. Yeah, if I'm ever running bad, the only thing I'll do to make myself feel better is review uh, fundamentals. Walkie, walkie. Just because, like, you never want to, like, be changing your game because you're running bad. And, I mean, you have to legitimately be running bad. Like, you have to acknowledge your mistakes, too. Because, typically, when you're running bad, you'll make more mistakes. Just because you get fucking pissed off. Like, you're not bluffing enough or you're calling too much, you know. That's the first time we've seen that. A limp and then a raise from the big blind. But it wasn't big. It wasn't a big raise. Yeah, I knew he was going to make his big raise again. If he calls, I will call. But if he doesn't call, I can't. Like, it's... 
he's getting frustrated. Like, he, this guy doesn't have enough patience. Like, it's going to be kind of aggro, but he doesn't have patience. All right, we're just going to check the ace. And we'll bet the turn. And we're going to check the river. He can have a lot of jacks. He can have some hands, but he can also put in some bluffs. I don't think betting the river does anything unless he has exactly 10-9. He had, he had 9 4, so I don't think I get two streets there. I think we're better off checking, letting him bluff. He didn't even have a diamond. I mean, I had that thing locked. Look, now he's raising from a big blind every time. This is. That's a good, that's a good strategy change because he doesn't know really what to do with it. It's not bad. Limp. Yeah, I wouldn't raise this one either if I was him. Monotone. Check. I have to take one off. Ace isn't the worst. I don't know if he ever checks though. Yeah, he's betting big. Yeah, that's fine. You got it, man. I'm I'm making a lot of really exploitable folds, but I think it's necessary. Until we get heads up, then I'm not folding that shit. Just because this guy is such a wild card, and I don't want to end up in third. Uh, if he jams here, I have to call short stack. Like, he's folded them all to me, so it's kind of exploitable if he jams if I just fold. So that ace doesn't have to be anything, but I do think we do have to bet. Uh, I think he'll let the strength of his hand go right here. Like, yeah. He'll either jam or he'll fold. Like, there's no reason in checking there. And you can't bet anything less than half pot, because that's now the standardized uh, C-bet. Alright, he's still limping. That's fine. We want to keep him limping. We don't want to, like, pressure him too much. Because he's going to start jamming too frequently. Uh, I'm going to check. I can win here in showdown sometimes, unless you just hit the 9. Jack 6, look at this. That's pretty awesome. He's just exerting no pressure on me, but he's raising this guy. So it's kind of like, that's why I don't want to put anything on him. I kind of want him fighting with him. And leaving me the fuck alone. Because a short stack can really fuck up your whole tournament. Man, everybody kind of tightened up there. I could go for this bluff again, but I don't have enough blocker energy. If I had 10 jack, maybe. But I don't have enough blocker potential there. Because if his draws come in and pair me, it's going to suck. Ah, this big raise again. Like, I really wish I knew what that was. Like, I haven't seen one yet because it's so big that you have to be so narrow. Limp a premium. I'm gonna check. And I'm gonna check. I'll check. It's fine. I, I, I kind of didn't want to show it, but he had 10 8. So I kind of didn't want to show it, but I don't think it's. There's no reason to bet. Like, I was gonna call if he had bet the river. First three bet we're seeing. And I didn't raise the king-queen before. Why do I feel like you're going to jam? Whoa. Out of the way. Ace-queen, ace-ten. That's crazy. Don't chop it. No chop. We're heads up. All right. Well, we got 263, so he's got me about 1.5 to 1. We are heads up. He's going to be hard to play against. That's okay. Check. And I'm going to bet the river. If he has a 7, he'll call. He might call with ace high. Of course, he has ace 7. That's annoying. Ugh. Such a good play. 
Because he's going to call me with any ace in his hand. He should have a lot of aces he's trapping. 6-4. 5. I'm going to check. And if he checks, I'm going to bet. If he bets, I'm going to fold. That's fine. He's playing kind of straight up. It's going to be hard to beat him. Unless we get it in here. Hold. Hold. You got to be kidding me. That's amazing. Well, new high, 481,000. I can't believe he called it off with Ace-8. Pretty awesome. Fucking 90 blind pot. We completely changed places. That's crazy. Let's see what he does. That's why you lost your first shot at 15 L. Got away from the fundamentals because you were scared of losing money. That's a big deal. I think I have to call. Yep, he's always going to bluff the flush. We're heads up, sir. 500,000. Damn it. God, I was one card away from winning the whole tournament. He fucking just jammed with 6-7 like a fucking idiot. Ugh. Anything but a six or a seven, we win. Yeah, he's, uh, like I said, he's going to be a maniac. Oh, that's upsetting. I win here a lot. Yeah. There's no point in betting. Oh, we chop it. Whatever. I could have bet it. I should have bet it. I didn't realize the chop was out there. I didn't see the sixes. I'm a fucking idiot. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. He just gets it a gift. Yeah. He might not be calling me with ace highs anymore. It's hard to say. Three and six hundred. Yeah, well, calling. He doesn't have an ace. But it's fine. He's making bigger raises now. Check. Check raise. Yeah. You don't have to start doing that more. going on pre-flop, but I think it's fine. I'm just going to lead. Really? I feel like if I 3-bet, he might go away, but I'm not sure. I don't... I haven't seen him do that yet. That 6-7 really pissed me off. think yeah yeah it's just so obvious god so is he raising the really bad ones and the really good ones and limping the middles i think that's what's going on
he has a flush, he's going to win it all right here. But he's going to have so many two pairs. That's interesting. I don't think he ever folds an ace there. I think he had a jack. He had like queen jack maybe. Backed him off the raise. Jack. Yeah. It's not a lot for him to have. That's interesting. I think I have to call one. Yep. That's how you play ace high, sir. You can't just fold it. Just dominating. Yeah, he's getting he's getting scared and pissed off, so it's all right. And it's gonna make big raises. Yeah. Let's go. Four's not bad. Thirty thousand. If he has an overpair or a ten, he's gonna get it all right here. I knew it. Dumbass. Just a flush draw. That's awesome. 608,000. A little more to go. He's going to start jamming. Call. And just put him in. Nice. 629,000. Threes. Hold threes. One card to go. Pair the board. Game. Hey Hayden. Mm -hmm. Winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go. First place out of 147. Nice. I fell asleep a little bit. Oh I know. <laughs> Pretty fucking awesome. I fucking decimated this fucking guy yeah. like it was uh it was pretty crazy How so? was he just dumb or it was it was so much Here, here's where it really went crazy and i'll review these hands for you guys <laughs> so this one he was limping a lot all like that these are just the last like five hands where i really took it to him mm -hmm. so he limps i make my first race from the blind he calls I flop a gut shot. I decide to check it. I decide to bet the turn. He just calls. River comes off king. I make the nuts. I bet really big, and he decides to fold on this one. But this is what will tip him over the edge. So the next one, I have ace-deuce. I limp. We go check, check. He bets the turn. I have a flush draw. He goes check. Uh, he bets big, and I, and I kind of figured out his betting pattern. Yeah. So I call him with just ace high, no pair, and I'm good. <laughs> and then the queen nine, he walks. This one is the ma is amazing. So I'm soft playing this ace, so I just limp it. He makes a raise. Mm. It's fine. That's what I want. He calls. I make a four, just a four. Uh, I check. He bets 30000 into this pot. That is a monstrous bet. Yeah, why? You'll see. I decide to think about it, and I call, see what the turn is. The turn's another ten. So in poker, this the th first thing everybody thinks is it's very less, it's much less likely that he has a ten or that I have a ten. Mm. And I said, if he bets again here, I'm just going to jam it. If he has a ten or an overpair, he's just going to win it all. He bets fifty thousand. This is the biggest bet of the tournament so far. Mm -hmm. And I just jam in for two hundred fifty-three thousand. <laughs> and he calls me because I know he has just a flush draw. He has two overs in the clubs. This is what heads up is though. You have to take very small edges. Mm. And my hand holds. It's good. So I win six hundred eight thousand. Damn. And then uh, he makes a raise. Uh, I call it after I'd limped. I just decide to jam with a flush draw. He folds, a couple folds, and then the last hand, I decided to just jam it straight. He just called me off with whatever hand holds. I win. Damn. 
13 bounties. Let's go. And uh, a nice prize for a grand total of 536 bucks. Not bad for a $20 entry. Let's go. Really happy about that. So yeah. there it is, guys. And uh, I'll try to find you guys uh, somebody to host in just a minute. Stick around and uh, come back and see me some more. We'll see more uh, fun stuff. And hey, first stream, first final table, only my second.